Oi, that's my bed. What do you think of this? Do you like it? Can you help me review this? I got a new camera. Well, actually, it's the upgrade of the one that I'm filming on right now. This is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. So exciting. And today I'm gonna do a little unboxing and review video on this camera because I did it on the last one, but this is the upgrade. And it's got a few cool new features that I just couldn't do without. And this is such a great little vlogging camera, business camera, so let's unbox. It. So here we have the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III, freshly in its box. This one actually comes in a couple of colors. This is the black one. There is a silver one, which I probably should have got because I'm keeping my old one. But anyways, all right, let's open this up. The reason I actually got this is because I was at a slime convention. So my daughter has a slime store. I'll post her YouTube channel below. It's super cute. Anyway, I was helping her vlog the event and this guy came up and he said, oh, is that a Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II? And I was like, why, well, yes it is. And he's like, oh, I've got the Mark III. Do you want to have a look? And I was like, oh my God, yes. And the one thing that I realized about this one that the old one was lacking, and I have to say the old one's pretty good, is this, look, a microphone jack. That was the only thing that was lacking from the last one that I really didn't like. Look, now you can add a little microphone in there. The reason is like, you know, when you're just holding the camera to yourself and maybe you got like a little selfie stick, it's totally fine. But when you're doing videos like this, the one that I'm doing right now, I'm still recording on my old G7 X Mark II. And I want a better sound quality, just something that is a little bit better. I'm gonna actually start recording on this camera in a minute. Okay, what else is in here? We have the little hand strap, which is super helpful. It's got the same ports as the other one, the HDMI port there, and the little USB in there. That's how you open those up. This looks very similar to the back of the last one. There's a nice handle grip on the front. It's really easy to hold when you're out and about. These top little functions look almost exactly the same as the one that I'm using right now. And then we've got this little flash thing here. Oh, there we go, pops up. The screen looks like it might be slightly bigger. And this is why I like this camera in particular because the screen pops out like this. So we've got power cord, battery, and then the little battery charger thing. So this just sits in there like that. And then you obviously put the cord into a power source. The battery and the SD card go in here underneath. So this is cool, but I wish it was somehow on the side because if I need to change that and I've got it mounted on something, I have to undo the whole mount. So that's the mount little thing there. Sometimes I wish I could just keep it in the ring light. This is really not that big a deal. Okay, and that little thing clicks over. Now I'm just using my phone to record this. And as you can see, this is the Mark II. This is the new one, the Mark III. <laughs> they look so similar, I've had to put little stickers on them. I kind of wish I got the silver one of this because I'm gonna keep this one. My daughter's gonna be using this one still. And I'm gonna be using the new one. Obviously they are a tiny bit different. Let's flip them over and have a look. They look really similar on the back as well let's look at the top so there's no defining features that are so so different really we've got the on off button in the same spot it's the same length of zoom yep I don't really change much when I'm using the, the functions on the screen there. Okay, this is something really interesting in this camera, which you're going to love if you're not a full techie camera person or if you just want to do videos without all the complicated camera stuff. So see here in the right hand corner here, just down here, we have a little palette paint brushy thing. Let's click this. Look at this, like so user friendly. I don't think we even need to read the instructions to understand how to use this background blur, which is something that a lot of people who do vlogging, videos for their business, they want that background blur. So at the moment it's on auto. But let's just say, and, and I'll try this with my face to camera, but let's just say we want to make the image really sharp or we want to completely blur out the background. Okay, so here we have, I've got this camera sitting in my ring light here. And here we go, let's click on this. 
This seems a little bit sensitive, so let's try and do this. No, I didn't want to sharp that blade. Blurred. I wonder if that actually blurs. Okay, let's try now this brightness. We're going to brighten it up even more. Oh, okay. Let's see how that goes and see how it looks when I actually record it. Here we are recording on the Mark III, the brand new one, okay? Now I'm going to stop the recording. I'm going to change some of the settings. So I'm going to try and blur out this background a little bit more and maybe even brighten up the picture. So let's do that. Okay, does that background seem a little bit more blurred to you? <laughs> I don't know if it's far enough back and I don't know if I seem any brighter. Maybe it's when I'm shooting something, you know, outside further away. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to play with that. That seems like a really cool feature. I just hope it works like it does. So another thing I want to try with this is actually putting in the microphone. So let me go grab a microphone that I just bought off Amazon. Here is the packet. This is called Solid Microphone. And it's a two interview set, so I thought that was quite cool. It comes on a nice little zip pouch, which is very, very cute. I had like a Rode or a Rode, however you say it, lav mic before. I lost it, <laughs> which is not great. When I went to go buy a new one, I feel like the price went up since last time I bought it. I'm pretty sure it did. Is that because I've gotten so popular? Who knows? I don't know, but there's a lot in here and this was much cheaper than the Rode lav mic. I got so many things, but I'll keep it really simple today. I will just use the little lav mic, so just one of them. Let's plug this in the side. So this is me without it plugged in. When I'm really nice and close, it doesn't seem to make that much of a difference. But if I'm sitting back, I feel like the sound quality is just not as good. So let's add this in. Now I have this actually plugged in. Let's put it on my top. Make sure that's not covered by any hair or fabric. And that is hopefully a much better sound. I don't know, does that sound better to you? When you don't have it, I feel like there's a lot of background noise that the microphone picks up, which is not great. So hopefully this fixes that issue. And even if I'm standing all the way back here, it still will be the same quality. Whereas if I didn't have the microphone in, now that I've taken it out, it won't be. And you just won't get that same quality. And that's just what I want my videos to just be that little bit more professional. I look like I'm sweating. <laughs> It's really hot here in Australia right now. One of the other things I wanted to mention is what I found on the Mark II, sometimes the autofocus and the image st stabilization wasn't as great as what I noticed when this guy showed me what the Mark III was like. So when I would do some product shots or maybe even videos for Honey's slime stuff, it would take a minute to focus and it seemed like that the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III could do that a little bit faster, which was way cooler. So let's test that. I'm gonna put some slimes on the table and just see if that works a little bit better okay i've got a couple of honey's products here slime with some things to mix in the top I've got some stars and some little beads that i'm gonna open up see if this looks good okay yeah that just seems to focus really fast that's cool let's uh, change that a little bit and here Oh, how cute are these little charms that uh, you open this up and then you mix all these into the slime. It's like a little mini M&M's. <laughs> how cute are they? Yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's sort of like out of focus a little bit. Again, if <laughs> someone who is a camera expert is watching this and then just seeing me do like these lame little focus <laughs> things, I don't even know if this is right. All I care about is does this work for the type of videos that I do and yeah I think that's pretty good. If you are interested in a little pocket camera that is easy to use that has a little bit better picture quality for your videos then I have to say this G7X Mark III is a very cool choice. I expect that this is the camera that everyone will start using from now on because it's so easy to use. The size, now that it has a microphone jack. <laughs> My overall view for the type of camera that I'm looking for I give it five out of five stars. I think it's really cool. I think the G7X Mark II was pretty cool but I would have only given it four just because of the some of the limitations so this is five out of five for exactly what i want to use it for i think it's perfect 
And so I've put all the details of everything that I've used in this video, including this camera, in the description of this video if you want to go have a look and check out those. And that's it. I'm really happy with this. <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Of course, there are heaps of other videos that I've done that will help you build a business online utilizing videos. We talk all about marketing and mindset and building your business from home. So if those are the topics that you're interested in, have a look at some of the other videos on my channel. Make sure you subscribe also and click the notification bell with your elbow. My daughter does that in her slime videos. It's so funny. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Do you want to be in the video, buddy? <laughs>